we have two adjectives in this section. Find the slope of the tangent line to a curve at a point. Use the limit definition to find the derivative of a function. Calculus screw ups are four major problems that European mathematicians were working on during the 17th century. The tangent line problem, the velocity and acceleration problem, the minimum and maximum problem, the area problem. Each problem involves the notion of a limit, and calculus can be introduced with any of the four problems. What does this mean to say that a line is tangent to a curve at a point? Essentially, the problem of finding the tangent line at a point P boils down to the problem of finding the slope of the tangent line at a point P. You can approximate this slope using a second line through the point of tangency and a second point on the curve. So look at this graph and this second line. This second line crosses the curve at two points. The point at C and C plus delta x. The delta x is the distance between the C and C plus delta x. And the delta y is, is the distance of y between the FC and FC plus delta x. If C, F, C is the point of tangency at C plus delta x, F, C plus delta x is the second point. On the graph of F, the slope of the second line through the two points is given by substitution into the slope formula. So where the slope of this second line is, F, C plus delta x minus F, C divided by c plus delta x minus c. And after we simplify, the denominator just only left delta x. And this is the slope of second line. The right side of this equation is a different quotient. The denominator delta x is the change in x. And the numerator delta y is a change in y. You can obtain more and more accurate approximations of the slope of the tangent line by choosing points closer and closer to the point of tangency. Look at the figure below. The second line crosses the curve at two points, the black point and also the gray point. Well, these two points are getting closer and closer, or you can say the delta x approaches zero. The delta x is the distance between these two points, almost equal to zero, closer and closer. So, the second line at this point is called the tangent line. If f is defined on an open interval containing c, and if the limit delta y over delta x for delta x approaches 0 is m, then the line passing through c with slope m is the tangent line to the graph of f at the point c. The slope of the tangent line to the graph of f at the point c 
is also called the slope of the graph of f at x equal to c. Look at this example. To find the slope of this graph of fx equal to 2x minus 3 when c equal to 2, you can apply the definition of the slope of the tangent line. So we use the definition of slope and we substitute. We substitute the 2 plus delta x into the fx and also minus the f2 we substitute the 2 into the fx and divided by delta x we expand and we simplify lastly we have 2 I will perform the direct substitution. The answer is 2. Make sure you always write the limit. Delta x stands to 0 until you perform the direct substitution. The slope of f at point 2, 1 is equal to 2. Notice that the limit definition of the slope of f agrees with the definition of the slope of a line. The definition of a tangent line to a curve does not cover the possibility of a vertical tangent line. For vertical tangent lines, you can use the following definition. If f is continuous at c and when we performing the def limit definition and produce the result is undefined. So the vertical line x equal to c passing through c is a vertical tangent line to the graph of f. For example, the function below has a vertical tangent line at C. When the domain of F is a closed interval AB, you can extend the definition of a vertical tangent line to include the endpoints by considering continuity and limits from the right for x equal to A and from the left for x equal to B. The limit used to define the slope of the tangent line is also used to define one of the two fundamental operations of calculus, differentiation. The derivative of f at x is f prime x equal to limit f x plus delta x minus f x over delta x for delta x approaches zero provided the limit exists for all x for which this limit exists f prime is a function of x be sure you see that the derivative of a function of x is also a function of x for example we have fx equal to 2x squared. And the derivative of this function is f prime x equal to 4x. So that is why the derivative of a function of x is also a function of x. And this new function gives the slope of the tangent line to the graph of f at the point x.
provided that the graph has a tangent line at this point. The derivative can also be used to determine the instantaneous rate of change of one variable with respect to another. The process of finding the derivative of a function is called differentiation. A function is differentiable at x if its derivative exists at x and is differentiable on an open interval ab if it is differentiable at every point in the interval. For this notation, which is read as f prime of x, other notations are used to denote the derivative of y. The most common are the following here. The notation dy dx is read as the derivative of y with respect to x, or simply dy dx. Using limit notation, you can write dy dx as limit delta y over delta x for delta x approaches 0, where the delta y is f x plus delta x minus f x and also can be written as f prime x. Look at this example. To find the derivative of fx equal to x cubed plus 2x, use the definition of the derivative as below. This is the de definition of derivative. We substitute the x plus delta x into the given function. And we expand and we simplify and we simplify. After simplify, we perform the direct substitution. 